today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Okay. What the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this Sunday fun day. I know you might be getting a little bit anxious because we have another week in front of us. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm still gonna keep you, you know, through the week. We're gonna we're gonna be together on this. Don't worry. We all are in this together. But for now, take those bad uh, like feelings. You know, enjoy your Sunday. Okay, sit down. Um, have a nice meal, eat your favorite food, watch your favorite show, relax, like don't worry about anything else. And if you are one of those who have to work on a Sunday, girl, I'm so sorry for you, but I'm still here, I'm still here, and I'm gonna be bringing you some comfort. Girl, it is time to talk about The Real Housewife of New Jersey, mm-hmm, because Melissa Gorga is coming forward on her everlasting podcast, you know, never ending podcast, talking about the situation of what went down with Joe Judice in uh, that very awkward, cringy, weird meeting that happened right there. Okay. Uh, we definitely need to talk about it because it was everywhere. We were all talking about it. I mean, Gia had a lot to say about it. We, I mean, girl. So let's talk about this oh, mess. Whew. As you know, and if you haven't watched the video, it's on my Instagram account or my TikTok. You can find me anywhere as Real Andy BH. Okay. So if you haven't watched the video, of, I'm sorry, if you already watched the video, you know that there was this encounter between Joe Gorga and Joe Judice. Okay. They were walking by for some reason, you know, they saw each other. Someone was filming Joe Gorga or someone decided to start filming Joe Gorga. And they, he just went and hugged him, kissed him, almost cried. He was like, you guys, I love you. You are part of my life. Like, together forever, no matter what, you know. At the same time, I'm thinking... Girl, you are out there trashing, you know, the mother of his kids, your own sister. And literally, they go on all the time, month after month after month for years, they have been trashing Joe Judice. So, I, I mean, I think I was with everyone when I said, like, this is weird. It doesn't really make sense that you are now telling me Oh, you know, like we are so happy, you know, and, and time cure all, you know, wounds and like all, all, all of those things that they try to put out there. Because I'm thinking like you were not in that position just, you know, a few months ago, right? Like he's, he was going hard. Now I'm thinking, does he wants to, did, I mean, did he want to like reclude Joe Judas to go against Teresa? Like what is happening? It, it really doesn't make any sense. And even Gia, you know, she had a lot to say. She said like, oh, I mean, this is so interesting that you are creating a whole moment for the five 
seconds that you saw my father where you have been go around going around there you know trashing him all the time which make a lot of sense like yes you know um to me it seems it was a lot it was very fake you know it looked very fake not that they the moment was fake the moment happened but i feel like like maybe you, he, he saw him you know very you know from afar and was like oh my god film 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 we need this we need this you know i'm trying to get that cloud you know and all of that and create like a fake moment because you don't go around talking shit about someone and then you're like oh my god i love you baby boy oh my god that together it, right well, now Melissa Gorga was going into her podcast, you know, and he and she was talking about the whole situation, you know. She is uh, dragging the fans, you know, and she's basically saying that the moment was real, that the moment was not staged, that they saw each other and that they have so much history together that when they saw each other, it was like, oh, my God, I need to hug you because you are my best friend. <laughs> Girl, we have literally seen Joe Gorga blaming Joe Judas for the death of her parents, of his parents, you know? So, like, what? You know, but anyways, according to Melissa, it was a real moment, very raw. Um, she says that she was not the one filming the moment, you know, that it was someone else. And, you know, that Joe Gorga just felt compelled to post this out there, not to get clout. Not to get people talking about this. No, 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 no. It was to show the world that all time heal wounds. You know, like, no, I'm sorry. That time, I said that super wrong. Latino moment, guys. But like, that time heal all wounds, you know. And um, I'm like, girl, you are so full of bullshit, <laughs> you know. Anyways, she moves on into dragging the fans and the viewers. You know, she says that that the whole world is trying to turn something beautiful and amazing into a negative experience. She is dragging the show. She says that the show is uh, built upon negativity and toxicity, you know, and that when we, that when they show us like a nice, beautiful moment, then everyone is kind of like trying to turn it into something negative. First of all, why is she trashing the show? Is this an indication that maybe Miss Melissa Gorga will not be part of the show anymore? Because why would you go around saying that the show is toxic and, and, and negative and horrible? If you hate it so much, why are you still here, right? Anyways, uh, no, I don't think that we are trying to turn something beautiful into a negative thing. I think what is happening is that we are looking through their bullshit, we know that it is fake as fuck and we are just not gonna run with it, okay? We know that it's fake. It seems fake, like the whole, the, the laugh, of, there is there is this laugh that Joe Gorga does, you know, at him. And, and it's like, I was like, oh my God, this is so cringy, so cringy. I, and I'm wondering, I'm still waiting for Joe Judah's response. Why do, what does he has to say about this? Because it was, it was weird. It was weird. The whole thing was weird. So anyways, that's what is going on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree with Melissa or do you look through their bullshit? Let me know. And like always, if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Housewife of New Jersey or any other Bravo franchise or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.